Hey everybody, Captain and the Spruce here. Welcome to Balloons Card Storm. Now it's been a little bit and this is an er another early access type thing and I had just launched it for the first time and I was going through the settings to make sure everything was right and look, they have a, a system where you can craft cards, which is really cool. It's reminding me a lot of um, uh, Master Duel Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm excited to get into this. I believe they have the ability to actually make it where you can craft your own decks. And I don't know, like, I don't know. It, it's going to be a little bit overwhelming at first, I do believe. But I, I also think they only have 80, 70, 80 cards. Am I way off the mark? I could uh, bring it up here in the video and I'll show you guys. But I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and get in. Um, sure. Oh, do we have to go to the tutorial again, I bet. Is that what we have to do? All right, I'll uh, meet you guys after the tutorial. All right, I'm done with the tutorial and I was in the middle of creating my own deck and I just wanted to do a slow pass by of the absolute beautiful card artwork that is at display here. It is just, oh my goodness, they really went all in. I haven't even looked at the balloons. I've seen a couple of new balloons, like the nestled. The golden balloon looks awesome. Nest green. <laughs> Double blue. Oh my goodness. Oh. That's cool. Just take a slow moment to look through all this. They have the ZOMG. That's awesome. Improved fortification. I like it. Look at it. What does that even mean? That's so cute. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, that's really cool too. But I'm going to go ahead and try to play a couple. It doesn't look like I'll be able to make an actually like decent enough deck. I really wanted to go for the uh, sentry because I'm a big fan, but I just might make a uh, makeshift deck for now that I think would just do the best overall. So apologies, but I'll see you again. All right, well, I just made my first deck and we will see. I'm gonna veto this map. I like that. We're gonna see how good this deck is. It looks like a lot of people are going to be using Obin, which is the new hero for this um, play test. And uh, hopefully I didn't build the worst deck imaginable. When the uh, full-fledged game does come out, I will be going for Sentry Superiority. I'm excited to see how that works. And again, this will be a refresher on how to play the game because it has been a hot minute since it was a uh, available to play test. So we'll see. Uh, get rid of you. And I think we keep everything else, right? Maybe get rid of you. No, I think we keep it. I think we just get rid of this card. I readied up before I could. Oh, no. Oh, no. 500 health, is that? Can't remember if that's the starting for all the heroes or if it's just for Oban. I did not know how to play and I apologize. Now we just wait for him. Now, um, I don't know how I'm gonna edit these videos. Much like I said um, in the last time I did a video on this game, I'm not 100% sure on how I'm supposed to be editing these. So I'll probably just cut to the boring minutia of it. Like for instance, if I wasn't talking, He's not playing a single card, and now it's my turn. Be kind of annoying to watch, right? We're going to go ahead and play all three of our swarms. It doesn't look like he's even here. So I think we take advantage of that. Do we play our... Uh, I don't think we do. We might be able to get a banana farm down. I think we end turn. I don't think he's even here. I'm going to be honest with you, Chief. He's here. What a legend. What a legend. All right, we did save money. That's good. We're playing it like he's here now. I'm going to place my banana farm. And that'll hopefully get me up early. We can do mortar monkey as well. That's 45 damage at the end of every turn. To a random monkey or a balloon. I like steady growth balloon. If we can find a... Oh, no. So we don't want to play Mortar on that unless we can pop it. 
but it does 70 damage. Um, we'll see. Now we can't, we can play this. We don't want to damage it multiple times though, do we? That's, we get two gold out of this and we save our HP and it doesn't pop his balloon. So I will play that. Um, we have two gold. We could play some mortar, but I don't want to pop that. So I think we pass turn, keep our gold. We just for, uh, we for, um, fortify our defenses and then try to accumulate enough money to where we can just bum rush them. He just placed down his first banana farm. We're ahead just a little bit. Oh, I got a balloon. Okay. And then we have Necromancer. Okay. We could play this. I like the idea because he only has one attack tower. Honestly. We're getting a lot of gold. Hold on. I think we do this. I think that's the play. <laughs> it's too good to put that farm. <laughs> <Was it? laughs> I know that wasn't even slightly worth it, but to cut his income down by two and increase mine by two, I think was actually just like the unwarranted, but definitely satisfying play there. <laughs> I can only imagine he's just like, I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> it's such a stupid move, but I had to do it. Ooh, okay. So it's healing. Okay. You noxious weed. All right. So we're going to have to pop those if we can. I'd like to. Um, I guess we just place this guy down here. He should be able to attack and hit, hurt one tube, not kill, unfortunately. We don't have enough gold for that. Do we just place another mortar down and hopefully they just double team? We'll try it. It's on fire too though, right? Not getting through. It being on fire means that it gets pawned, maybe? At the end of its turn, okay. So it won't get a chance to heal then. What did they heal? I don't know. That's going to hurt, by the way. I'm glad we have our shield and we get two gold from it. So we'll have eight gold next turn. What is that icon? Oh, okay. That's really cool. Hmm. We definitely lack uh, towers that can pop balloons or a way to pop said balloons. We we are uh, doing more damage than he is. Gain two gold, lost a little bit of health. He's winning slightly, ever so slightly. I think we play the Necromancer, right? I think we do. And he should be able to spawn a balloon for us. And then we just... Fill the board up with our little reds. We have five gold. I guess we just placed another steady growth, maybe. And that's all we can really do. Summon a wolf. I want to know what this does. I'm assuming I can't use it because it's a. Uh, it takes up a, a slot on our um, towers. So we'll just keep on saving then, I guess. I like the uh, active. It's like Wall of Trees almost. Deal 100 damage and gain two gold. I feel like if it gave more gold, it'd be a little bit more. I don't know. Two gold just feels so inferior. And undead balloons have 45 health. That's good to know. If we had a way to uh, heal them, like with the uh, aura of strength balloon. That's cool artwork. He, he has the ability to summon a uh, wolf. I wonder if he's going to take that opportunity or not. Is he going to try to... Oh my goodness. Is he going to try to pop it? He can pop one. He 
He's definitely going to try to pop one, right? Or is he going to... Okay, he's, he's definitely going to pop one. Okay. I do like how the undead have a zero delay, so it's constantly summing zero delay. There's a nestled. Okay. Or nested. I want to say nestled. I don't know why. It just makes sense to me. That's the wolf? Interesting. No, that wasn't the wolf. That was the uh, 100 damage one. My bad. All right. So we are kind of way too much money. That's really nice. Did I? That's really cool. Um, I mean, there's nothing else we can do. Just double checking. I can't do anything with the wolf. Um, we do have this, though. So we just gained 10 shield. And I think we just passed turn. I love that so much. There's another undead balloon. If we don't pop it, it doesn't spawn one. <laughs> the little animations and everything are so cute. I can definitely see this game actually going pretty far. I really enjoy it. I'm going to, it's going to suck when they actually invent the meta because that's when games usually have a, uh, the hardest time surviving. So they have to prioritize making it fun rather than balancing out a meta unless a meta reigns completely supreme. We'll just have to see how it goes. Also, this match is taking forever. This guy is so incredibly slow. Interesting. Okay. So we have a lot of gold. I'm hoping we can spawn the, um, the, um, what is it called? Prince of Darkness. Because I am struggling on taking his balloons out. Oh, not getting through. Double attack. So that does 180. Yeah. And I just, yeah. There's another two gold. Yippee. Cha-ching. Can I use it, please? Is 20 the max gold? I don't believe it. Say it ain't so. Do we? We don't lose, but we're getting dangerously close to losing. Like, very dangerously close. Okay, so what I'm uh, seeing is that I have way too much money income. Not enough balloons or not enough defense. I don't think the mortars were the right play. I like the concept of them, but when you have balloons that can heal, random attacking um, monkeys will not be able to suffice unless they do aoe or a lot of damage you're gonna have to be able to specifically target if you want to get rid of the healing balloons effectively heal 25 that's fair oh i'm dead yep that's gg 540 Lord have mercy. They're leaking. Lord have mercy. <laughs> that was a good fight. So I know what I need to do to my deck. And I'm going to do that real quick. All right. Attempt number two. I replaced my mortars with sniper monkeys, and we will see how that goes. Let's see a legend. Nice to meet you. Monkeys have plus five attack power. I like it. Hopefully, I can not mess up this time. Um, It's not the worst hand, but I think we get rid of... I think we try to get a early on... Okay, we did not get an early on... What do you call it? Uh, banana farm. There we go. I think that's what we do. Save our money. Not that we had a choice. Okay. He's going to be able to pop one. RIP. Early on Prince of Darkness is not the best. We will go ahead and draw two. And I will spend said money on a blue balloon in turn. We'll try to do uh, two gold balloons next turn. Doing early on damage is almost inconsequential because there's so many healing abilities or shield abilities. I feel like doing the mega damage is what matters. 
Uh, the only HP that matters is the last one, right? Okay. An early return to Cinder isn't the worst. I'm just going to go ahead and play two of these gold blooms. Never mind. I'm sorry. I can only play one. So he's going to have to decide whether he wants to give me gold or take 70 damage. I'd probably take 70. Okay, he's going to give me uh, two gold or one gold. You know what? I lost one gold out of it. That's fair. Hope you don't mind if I play more. There we go. Let's just swarm your field. Try to get uh, my character's abilities up all the way so I can uh, counter an ambush. He's got seven gold, so he's, he's really racking in the gold. Hopefully that doesn't entail what's going to happen another dart monkey okay okay that's fair now i don't have any towers to defend unfortunately do i save my money for a prince of darkness next turn i think i do what happens if i summon that's cute that is so stinking cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. All right. Now, now we're kind of getting into the knit and gritty. Okay. So he is. Go okay. That's interesting. He won't be able to single handedly pop my golden balloon. So he's going to have to give me two gold, which is really good for me. Unless he doesn't attack it at all. That's a good play. I'm saving up money for a Prince of Darkness anyway, so have fun with that. Does that mean we can... Hold on. Does that mean... Oh, my goodness. I built an accidental, like, prototype really good deck because I'm able to summon uh, wolves for free. That's interesting. Um, I think we just go ahead and do this. And uh, he has... Ooh. We can't do anything else, but I like it. And then he heals at the start of turn. Does that mean that we get a 430 health or does it stay at 400 and less damage? So I'm seeing right now we get rid of some of our balloons for ways to quicken the undead. That's what I'm seeing right now. Now that I know that's how it works. He's going to hurt it, but I'm going to heal it just a tiny bit. I can also pull his monkey to my side of the field, but I have a feeling he's going to try to do something else. So I'm going to wait. Oh, nice. What does that do? Just undestroy draw a card. Okay, that's fair. Now we can do a more. I thought I got rid of all of them. Hmm. So we're taking a bit of damage. I can summon more balloons. Or I could grab his super monkey. I don't think I'd be able to use it to attack. I think we just play this. And then... I don't know. I think it's too late for a monkey or banana farm, isn't it? We'll play it because we have a lot of expensive cards in our hand. We do have an 8 and a 4, and then we have a 10. I don't think he'll be able to pop this yet. So it does stack like that. Interesting. Okay. I still don't think he's going to be able to pop it, but he's going to do a lot of damage. I just realized the Prince of Darkness says on play summon undead Moab. Okay. Go water the garden. Interesting. So I need ways to heal it before I play. Okay, I'm understanding. If I were a big man, could I play just a bunch? I don't know. I mean, that's a lot of healing that I get done. We could play this twice. 
And then, do we really use this on... I mean, six gold for four does sound like a pretty decent exchange. Like, that's not the worst play, right? We're still alive. I want to try to save up for this. When, once I get this, then I feel a little bit more safe. You just wink at me. <laughs> He's going to play it again. That's what I thought. That's six. That's minus six gold. That was a good play on my part so far. Now, does he gain the attack? Does he? I, I think so. Because he'd have 25, right? So he gained another 25, 520. I think I'm reading that right. So I wonder if that actually counts as a dart monkey then. It's interesting. I'm glad he damaged that balloon because it just it just heals, right? And it should be over uh be able to overheal. Let's see if it overheals. It doesn't. Okay, so these proc last. Okay. That's good to know. I gained 10 more or two more gold. Don't mind if I do. Now I can. I guess I'll just play this bad boy. And then I can do a lot of damage. And I will. Summon two of these. And then pass turn. We still uh, still have a banana farm, so we're still making a, a, quite a bit of money. He's going to be able to do a lot of damage. But I'm counting on this guy to uh, be my winning piece. These two uh, steady growth balloons should be able to sneak past his defenses if he's not noticing it. He shouldn't be able to pop them immediately. He'll, he'll be able to do a lot of damage. But if he's not focusing them down, then I win. But if he's also not focusing this down, I win. I'm hoping. And I got another 10 cost. I could take his triple. I think his triple is like the... Heart or the uh, most difficult monkey for me right now. All right, I'm taking that one. I'm taking that one. Yeah, so he's going to be able to pop all uh, both of those. Dead gummit. Or no, he won't. He'll be able to almost pop all. Okay, okay, interesting. Okay, okay. On reload, gain three gold. And I can reload immediately, so that technically costs two gold. Oh, on. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right, well, I'm taking you. JK, I'm not taking you. <laughs> My V. He's still putting out a lot of damage, and he can easily replace that sharpshooter. 11 gold. I like that strategy uh, because Gwendolyn boosts uh, the monkeys by a small amount of damage, but if you have a lot of them, it benefits more, of course. And then you have the Super Monkey Fan Club, which affects, I guess, all dart monkeys. It's pretty, uh, pretty nice uh, thought process he's got going on. Unfortunately, I don't know if it'll matter. I think this will kill him next turn, right? And then my guy heals him. He got healed, which is nice. I would like to attack you. And then I guess I just play uh, another one of these. Can I pop you? I don't want to pop either. But I'm going to take a lot of damage if I don't. I kind of have to, don't I? I mean, I just have to. I think I, I lose this one again. 
I hope I don't. We'll see. I definitely don't think the Prince of Darkness is the way to go, though. Unless you can play around it summoning the Moab, but it's a four delay, I believe. I don't know. That's tough. Oh, another one of those. So it does boost just all of them straight up. That's really cool. I like that. I wonder if a monkey village would be worth it then. No, because it only affects adjacent, right? Hmm. It's a lot of damage that he's outputting. It's uh, 33, uh, 330 damage, roughly. Other than the triple shot, which is another 120, so. He's popping it. That's incredible. Good job on that. Holy cow. I can tank a little bit of it. I'll be at 140 HP. Ooh, okay. And he gains the buff from everything else. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. So it looks like uh, Super Monkey Fan Club and a bunch of uh, triple darts will be the play then, right? They're, leaking. They're definitely leaking. Hey, I'll take, I'll take that. Ooh. Okay. Um, first, I want to attack with you. And then I guess I replace you with this. I think you're just popped, right? I'm going to... You're not popped. I'm going to actually have to hit you with this. And then I... Um... I don't mind you hitting me. You're on fire. I'll let the other guy do his job. Although, if I reload with it, I do get gold. Do I need gold? Not necessarily. I mean, this is tough because we both are holding our own against each other. To be fair, though, I think I have a more of an advantage with my uh, crippling now. We'll see, though, because he's outputting a lot more damage than I am. And, I mean, this guy's doing, like, nothing now, right? He's outputting close to 500 damage a turn, and I'm healing 30. Prince of Darkness is not the way to go. Not uh, for the build I have. I wish I had a... I need to start saving cards. That's what I need to do. Oh. If I can save a few balloon cards, spam them all. If it was a bunch of Aura Strengths uh, balloons and all that that might be able to hold their own because they would heal everything or a random bloom but like 30 or 50 i can't remember exactly i still don't think even if it healed like 100 per turn i don't think it'd be near enough that's the issue the healing is just not the way to go i wanted to make it work i don't think i can but i do like the idea of going uh high income high cost instead of and just like skipping the uh, small amount of balloon cost I don't like the look of that card. I'm going to be honest with you, Chief. I'm just going to play all of these. And then I'm going to... I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to hit you. I hope you're aware of this. Um, I can get that maybe, hopefully, next turn. Hopefully, maybe. Hopefully, he doesn't have a way to speed it up. Can he pop the Moab and the double hit? Well, he can survive the double hit. So yeah, I think he's got it. Oh, it just one hits it. I didn't even see that. <laughs> That's crazy. It just permanently gains that. That's awesome. To be fair, I do get, uh, give it 30 HP. Ooh. Or a strength balloon. That's what I want. Oh, he's going to pop. Yeah, he's going to. He's going all in on it. Yep. That's a pretty good strat. I like that. Oh, boy. I got this balloon. I would like to do this. 
And I can't attack with anything. It's just literally the Prince of Darkness is what is hurting me right now. I can survive 100 damage. It just, it just slowly wheedling at my <laughs> defense. It's not a darn thing I can do. I mean, if I can get my Moab to survive, maybe. See, if I had a bunch of these as well, like I just, I need more draw power and less get gold power. That's what I need to do. I mean, it gives me more gold to be fair, but. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, we have too much gold. Wait, so if I... That's... Okay, that's nifty. I'm gonna have to do that. And that's all I can do for now. It's not the worst balloon to hit. His balloon, his BFB is going to hit me first, so I'm going to have to pop it. Although I do have the crippling, so I can delay it. But the ceramic is something I'm going to have to worry about. That's tough. I'm going to have to get a tower that can attack it then. I'm going to have to get a tower to attack the Ceram. Yep, that's what I need. I need more white balloons so I can draw on turn. I have way too much gold. So I have to do that to you, so it's delayed. Then I think I get rid of you. I don't think this game's gonna last another four turns. And then I pray. Nope. That's GG then. <sighs> that hurts, dude. I got there's a lot I want to try out. This deck is definitely not the best it can be it's a little bit everywhere i thought i got rid of all the mortars that's on me first off i like his strat but i think i can make the sniper monkey strat work a little bit better unfortunately that'll be the first episode of me just losing twice i hope you guys don't mind it and I hope you guys appreciated what uh this game for what it is it's really early version point one but I'm extremely excited to see what it can be in the future. And the crafting system looks very promising. A little bit grindy. But we'll have to see in the future what it uh, foretells. But that'll do it all for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.